Good morning. If a picture tells a thousand words, then a new Facebook campaign should go a long way in helping spread the word about a rare but serious liver disease. The campaign is called Live Her and it highlights the realities of chronic and sometimes fatal autoimmune liver disease known as primary biliary cholangitis, or PBC. Here now to talk about the disease and the awareness efforts are 35-year-old Brandy Bartell, who has PPC, and Dr. Jennifer Pate, Chief of Psychiatry at Baylor St. Luke's Medical Center. Doctor, first tell us more about the liver disease called PBC. PBC stands for primary biliary cholangitis. It's an autoimmune disease which typically is diagnosed between the ages of about 30 to 50. It's a progressive liver disease wherein your immune system attacks the small ducts in your liver and leads to scarring and even cirrhosis and the need for liver transplant. The typical symptoms are severe fatigue that is not improved by sleeping a lot, and then severe itching, but a lot of patients don't have any symptoms at all. Doctor, why is it important that women in particular know about this disease? because it is a highly treatable liver condition that can, uh, treated early, uh, avert the need for liver transplant. So patients need to be asking their primary care doctors or their gynecologist at their annual visit to check their liver numbers. Doctor, what role does psychiatry play in patients' well-being? I am a liver transplant psychiatrist, so I take care of patients with all types of liver disease. I help with the particular symptoms of PBC, such as fatigue and itching, but I also help people cope with a chronic or terminal disease, treat depression, anxiety, pain issues, um, and all other types of psychiatric issues that can complicate the situation of somebody with PBC. Thank you. Brandy, tell us about how you came to be diagnosed with PBC. Well, I was experiencing some extreme fatigue, and at the time, liver health was not top of my mind. I was uh, chalking up that symptom to chronic stress, which I think many of us can relate to. Fortunately, I did follow up with my primary care physician, and that led to discovering that I had elevated liver blood tests, and then that led to quite a journey to actually receiving the diagnosis of PBC when I was only 34. At that time, um, I was not prepared for that. It was quite scary. And in fact, it was uh, not initially discovered because of my age. Most women with this disease are affected and are diagnosed rather in their uh, 40s and 50s. Brandy, this photography campaign, Live Her, is a unique approach to raising disease awareness. What is it all about and why were you interested in participating and sharing your story? Well, as I mentioned earlier, I was not routinely asking my doctor for liver blood tests, and so there is a profound need for more education and awareness about this disease. I want all women to ask about liver blood tests when they go for the regular checkups. And then also, this project does a beautiful job through photography and video on Facebook, and you can find it by searching for Live Her, that's L-I-V-E-H-E-R. It combines the words liver and her because it invokes the fact that this disease affects primarily women. And so it was really a great opportunity to be a part of this project to highlight the stories of women like me who are affected with this disease and also are making the most of their lives despite having a chronic illness. Doctor, you're not only a psychiatrist but also have PBC yourself. How does this impact the way you work with your patients and what kind of advice would you give to someone with chronic disease like PBC? I actually think my diagnosis of PBC helps me to be more effective in treating my patients with PBC and other living uh, other liver diseases. Um, you know, for me, I modify my schedule to seeing patients earlier in the day, and that tends to help me. But I think I'm a much more effective psychiatrist because when patients report feeling fatigued or having difficulty with itching, I know firsthand how those symptoms feel. And therefore, I feel like I'm a much more effective and compassionate psychiatrist. Doctor, where can people learn more? 
Uh, livingwithpbc.com is a great resource. It has a variety of patient stories and um, also disease management handouts. And so I'd highly recommend everybody take a look at this. I'd like to thank you both for taking the time today to talk with us. Have a good day. Thank, thank you. you.